inslag istället. Det ska handla om en konstnär. Kärleken förde honom till hans krona och kärleken till jeans gjorde honom till en helt unik konstnär. Jag hoppas verkligen att det går att se hur fantastiskt det konstverk som ni tittar på just nu är. Det är alltså helt gjort i jeans. Det började med att hans mamma ville städa ur hans pojkrum hemma i England och slänga alla hans gamla jeans. Och nu ska vi få träffa konstnären Denimu eller Ian Barry som han heter. So what do we have here? Uh, so as you see, um, there's a lot of uh, jeans and um, it looks like a mess, but it's an organized mess, I like to say. Um, it's not obvious at the moment because it's a bit, bit messy, but you've kind of got like the lighter, lighter shades. Um, you take that over here, and that might be beginning. You've got the lighter shades going over to um, the darker shades. Like things like things like this, I just have to buy it because I can I can use that as maybe some kind of window reflection. Um, here again, like um, windows or even some kind of water. Um, this section here is all the different bits with the different natural bleaching and things. So, how many jeans do you have in here? Uh, it could be up to a hundred, but not not more. But I know I've had over. Four or five hundred just since being in Sweden. Um, the cupboards up there are full of them, and yeah, when pe every time someone comes around, it's always got some jeans, or I find them at um, Lopis. So sometimes I buy real ones, and often, if I don't have the right shade, I realize that I have the right shade, but it's in my own personal wardrobe. So sometimes I've sacrificed my own current jeans sometimes if I really need to, and then um, count the con cost later <laughs> when um, I've got nothing to wear. <laughs> yeah. Well, for the last few weeks I've been working on a scene, it's called the Cheyenne uh, Diner. It's um, one of these old diners in uh, New York, which is sadly dying out now. And um, yeah, I always think it catches the essence of like Americana and this really American like feel, which I think complements the denim quite a lot. And I really wanted to pursue doing more interiors, so I just felt felt right. And there's so many details around. So you found me just as I'm about to um, finish one of the pieces. There's probably um, an hour or something to go, maybe depending on if I can find pieces. So on the salt pot at the moment that I'm going to put on the table, um, I noticed a shadow across the side behind the tomato ketchup. Um, so I thought, like here where the natural colour of the jeans are there, and then I thought I could use this rather than creating and cutting bits out myself. So I need to I need to get it out of here and also try and preserve some of the rest around it because I do ration myself with jeans, especially jeans that I like. I try and use every single bit of it that I can. It's a time consuming process, um, but once you really get involved in it, you don't want to leave it. And I have problems actually leaving because I know which it, it may look a mess, but I know where different shades of denim are. And like if there's a color what matches another color, then I've got to use that shade of denim. And if, say, I was to have a big tidy up and move everything around, I can't find that, then the picture's more or less ruined. Um, so what I do is um, I've drawn out the pieces which I'm going to put on. So um, I've already done the pepper pot and I'm now doing the salt, salt pot. I'm putting it on because I thought the table looked a bit bare and I really wanted to kind of have the light coming in from the windows and I thought this area kind of lacked that a little bit. So I just thought to bring a bit more life into that section. Uh, that's just showing the salt pot. Tomato sauce is in front of it. You've got the shadow coming across and um, 
So that will go on to there. But now I've got to do the tomato sauce. Pinpointing the right shades is so, so hard. Jeans are very universal in most different countries. And that's what I like about it so much that everyone can associate with it and uh, just seem fascinated when we come into the gallery and actually see the real thing and see that it's actually um, real jeans and something what they kind of wear and they can connect with it. And this painting or what do you call them actually? I struggle in English to actually call it anything. Um, uh, sometimes I let people just ref to refer, to, re to refer to it as a as a painting, um, just a painting in jeans, because um, I don't particularly like the word collage for it because it's only one material. Um, picture doesn't sound great, but in Swedish I can use um, tavla, which um, that seems to fit with it. So it's one word in Swedish that I do like. <laughs> When it comes to this picture, is it based on a photo or what you have actually seen or is it in your head? But it's from a photo and a few sketches and um, yeah, I mean all, all, all this light source in here is how it was and it all, it all is made from, um, so sometimes I bleach but on this one I've not used bleach on anything, it's all the natural um, lightening of the jeans. Um, something this took quite some time to actually achieve because I had to find the different shades to get the light in from the light source. Um, so it was quite nice when I'd actually achieved it. Um, the piece on its own was really nice, but once you put the different shades of jeans together, it kind of like... Mm, it's like some kind of optical illusion what happens, it, it dulls everything. Mm. Barry, superhäftig konstnär. Nu har vi fått kontakt och ska över till Solvalla och till Linda Rosenqvist.